So since I came back to Ireland, I've been having these uh, very strong panic attacks. I used to have terrible panic attacks before I left. Uh, then I thought I mastered them, and they, and they went away, and then I went travelling. Uh, since I've come back, they've gradually kept coming back stronger and stronger. Uh, I've kind of done a lot today, and I feel, uh, but I still, ha I still woke up with this like, kind of foggy feeling in my head. And at the moment, I still feel pressure in my head. But still proven from the, the other few days where I've had very strong panic attacks that lasted about 14 hours. Um, where I just, I couldn't think. My body just felt like it was on fire, like like my body was rejecting me. I definitely felt like that I am definitely not my body or my thoughts because I couldn't control either of them. Like I couldn't, like I was panicking and it was like, it wasn't like I had something that I could think about that I was panicking over which is depression but when you have depression you you're overthinking things that are too negative and that puts you in a bad mood but this is an anxiety attack so this is where this is more of a physical thing that your physical situation is making you panic uh, so yesterday I just woke up in the morning just felt like every that the entire universe was trying to kill me uh, and it's been like that say for four, four days in a row waking up with panic attacks so, so my so today, uh, so I didn't think about uh, so, so today I'm trying to think about okay why am I getting panic attacks? I have to go under a tree actually now it's raining. Why am I getting panic attacks now? Uh, more than before. Well, a couple of reasons. Uh, now I not live in the lifestyle of choice I like. Uh, I, which I prefer, which suits me. Uh, I am now trying to conform to Irish culture and live other people, uh, try and negotiate, kind of live half me and half someone else. And that just isn't working out. And my, my daily focus is on making money and surviving, which it wasn't uh, when I was living up in the woods, when I was living in Transylvania, you know, Greece, Himalayas. I wasn't thinking about survival every day. I was doing things purely out of my enjoyment, uh, whereas now I'm trying to conform. Or I go out and I wear suits, and I wear some ties, and it's quite miserable. Um, Ireland is generally not a, a nice place to live. It's better than most places in the world. However, it's very there's just a lot of negativity. People continuously trying to get you to conform to another way of life, another way of being that I don't particularly want, and don't want a life that's particularly unhealthy. People say, "Well, you have to. Oh, you have to watch football and television, like, just to conform with the size. Like, why? Like, it doesn't make any sense." So, I've been generally becoming less and less grounded because my energy, my focus is now more mental kind of things, planning, thinking, doubting, um, picking up on people's negativities, and gradually become more disconnected with nature, being less and less uh, calm. My, my ideal state is to be naked in the woods playing music. So then, so today, uh, trying to go out and be more like myself. Um, I looked at the weather. I was like, right, I won't go. I won't go along the cliffs. I'll go to the park. And today I'm on a juice fast, so I'm just having juice all day. Well, I, I've just had juice once, and go have my second juice of the day when I get back home. Going out to the park, um, I went and discovered all the 15 native trees, so park, amber, uh, elder, hawthorn, elm, uh, bird, ash, willow, scots pine, so on and so forth. Uh, so I so I spent the intellectually connected to trees as I put it with I was with my car. Got to enjoy nature with my camera taking pictures. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of people in the park today, even though it's quite a cold day, but it's still a nice enough day to enjoy nature. So I walked around the park quite a bit, and then I found a nice sweet spot. Uh, just a spot that I could feel the trees' energy quite well. So I decided to sit down and was like, right, what kind of I, I used to 
put a lot of effort in connecting with nature and energy. Even when I was living in the city before, I used to do it every, on a daily basis. I try and connect with nature, which is something I don't do now. So I just connected to the energy. Imagined that I was a tree. How connecting how the tree how the tree feels. Well, the trees, the earth first of all. That's where they get energy from. The power. The earth is the most powerful thing within our vicinity. Actually, what's even more powerful? The sun. Uh, it also so after you connect with the gravitational force of the earth and that kind of vibration you then connect with the higher energy of the sun and the cosmos because you do actually need the both to be balanced but at the moment I'm out of balance I'm, I'm more in my head at the moment I'm more my head's up too much in the stars so I have to reground myself so that's why I've been connecting hey, so I'm quite happy to find a nice little spot but it's quite difficult though because as I was feeling the, with the trees and how they're how the trees feel, like wow, they must feel like the way that I find society very intrusive emotionally. The trees must feel that the city is very intrusive. The same same problem I have with people that the trees have with people <laughs> is that very intrusive. You know, the trees are just sitting here chilling, doing nothing, being grounded. Uh, you know, being one with nature, and then here's a city that's just very, in the perspective of the trees, just very slowly taking over the place. And it's playing devil, devil's advocate in um, in defense of civilization, in defense of the cities. Uh, that's quite handy having tech technology. We can expand our minds that way intellectually educational wise still too much rain um educational wise advancement in health and education uh a lot less poverty developed societies are more peaceful more and more actually well more grounded funny enough then less about like cultures. That's just, that's just a fact. People, what we call the the noble savage fallacy, the people like to believe that tribal communities are commune more with nature than developed. Like, this is actually it's not true. It's not true. And uh, tribal societies tend to be more violent. Uh, so, so that's the benefits. But then the downside, of course, is that's destroying the environment. Um, the trees can't handle it. It's quite depressing. Being in, living in a city at times is quite lonely. I, mean, I personally, I don't really hang out. I spend most of my time on my own. But I think most people are lonely. In order to socialize with people, you have to do really depressing things like sit around and watch football on television. And, and so there's all these negative aspects. I mean, nature itself is quite. I mean, I've been chasing squirrels, I've been taking pictures of squirrels following them. The squirrels, you'd say, well, okay, they're more in tune to nature than we are. Yes, but the, but the squirrels are also living in panic and fear all day long. Like, I'm, uh, you know, so, the, so, the, so there's pros and cons. Pros and cons to the earth energy vibe. I mean, the earth energy holds it up. It's healing. When you're in nature, you're collecting more negatively charged ions. And uh, so your body's more positively charged. Oh, sorry. Your yeah, your your body's more negatively charged, and your body is becomes more alkaline. So you're so there's you're gonna have less viruses and less bacteria in your system, and therefore you're boosting your immune system and, and you're balancing out the hormonal activity in your brain. So that that's what what we mean by connecting with energy. By the way. Um there's all that benefits, but of course, but the animalistic nature is less civilized than the extra human evolved developing side, which which is but it's just that as I see it that the developing technological human side does need to adapt more, needs to rein itself in a bit, ground itself and go, look, yes, it's great developing all this technology, the internet hospitals, but we need to do it without destroying so many goddamn trees. <laughs>
a bit really. Uh, I, I'm yeah. That's it. That, that, was, that was my wisdom I learned today, and I'm gonna try and harmonize with my anxiety by connecting with Earth's energy on a daily basis because I am more in tuning myself to the higher energies too much because I'm doing very technological things and logic and maths and science uh, so I need to reground myself every day and with deep breathing anyway so I do feel better uh, I still still I'm staying a bit of anxiety I still feel a bit of pressure on my forehead but uh, I'm a bit more hopeful um, spending the past spending the Spending the entire day out uh, in nature has definitely, definitely made me feel a bit better. I would have preferred to have gone out a little bit more further. Um, more, I, I'm, I'm still officially in the city, so I'm in a big park in the city. And that's raining. So what the hell am I going to do now? <laughs> yeah. It's raining. I'm not going to drown in the rain. Um, yeah, so... Harmonize nature with humanity. Or humanity with nature.